today's video, I will teach you how to attach objects to your character so you or your chat can do something like this. To do all of this, there are three steps involved. First, creating bone sockets to which you can attach the objects, then turning your skeletal mesh into a character blueprint and attach the objects to the sockets, and lastly, creating the blueprints to swap out the objects. Let's start by creating these sockets. For this, double click on your skeletal mesh and right click on the bones you want to attach objects to and select create socket. Now close your skeletal mesh Right click in your content browser, select create blueprint and character. Rename and open it. In there, on the skeletal mesh component, select your avatar you just modified. Now let's get some objects to attach. Just drag and drop the static meshes or actors you want to attach to the sockets into the hierarchy in your character. Make sure they are parented to your skeletal mesh so they move with it. Just drag them onto the skeletal mesh part. Now for each object, click on the parent socket here on the right and select the socket you want to attach it to. And then move, rotate and scale the object until it's in the spot you like. After that, you can hide all objects by unchecking visible under the rendering tab. Now let's create the blueprints so you or your chat can swap out these objects. For this, go into the event graph of your character. In there, we need to create two custom events. The first one to hide all the objects in one socket and the second one to unhide one specific object depending on which one you want to show. Let's start with the hiding part. Right click search for add custom event and rename it. Now drag all the objects you have attached to one socket into the graph and then search for a set visibility and a set collision enabled node. After that, connect all the objects to both nodes and connect the nodes to the custom event. Also make sure a new visibility isn't checked and the collision type is set to no collision. That is the first custom event. Now let's create the second one to unhide one specific object at a time. For this, again get a custom event and then search for the event we just created. This is to make sure no object is showing when you want to show a new one. From there, drag out on the execution pin and search for a switch on string node. Now click on the custom event node and on the right create a new input by clicking on this plus icon. Rename that input and change the type to string. Now connect this new pin to the selection pin on the switch so we can access it from outside this custom event. After that, we can add a pin for each object we want to attach to this specific socket and rename them properly. To unhide one object at a time, we can just copy the two nodes we use in the other event, so set visibility and set collision. This time, we want to set the visibility to true and enable collision. You can repeat this step for each object you have connected to the specific socket, just swap out the target. Now we need to call this custom event with messages from Twitch chat. For this, we need to go into your level blueprint and create some more spaghetti code. I already prepared the Twitchworks part in here, so if you want to know how to do this, check out my tutorial on it. Now to get access to the events inside our character, we need a reference to it. So go into the viewport, click on your character, go back into the level blueprint and right click. On top, you should see the option to create a reference to it. Drag out from the reference and search for the event to unhide one item. Connect the execution pin with the custom event and drag out from the parameters pin and search for join string array. Connect this one with the parameters and the item input on the character event. Now if someone types exclamation mark item headphones in chat, headphones will get passed to your character and trigger the unhide one event. If you need more help with this, come check out my Twitch. I stream Unreal every Monday or go watch this playlist. Bye.